click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we are going to see some gear manufacturing processes gear can be manufactured by basic shaping hobbing milling or any other operation but there are some operations which can be used for manufacture of gears what are they we are going to see in this video So the first example I'll give of coining process. So what happens in coining process? You must have seen a press tool operation. In that operation, what is there? A press is required and a die is required. So the die and the press would be having the shape of the gear to be produced and the material is being kept between the press and the die. So in coining operation, the press as well as the die has the shape of the gear which is to be produced. So during the press process, the shape is being impressed on the work piece and then your work is being produced. Also in coining, you can do hammering process. So this is basic coining process in which you get shape but by using a press tool operation. The next operation is rolling. So unlike other rolling process of producing hot and cold working processes, what you have to do, you have to keep the material between the rolls. And during the rolling process, the material is being compressed. So here what you'll get, you'll get some flat kind of gears. So the gear which is to be produced becomes flat between the two or three rollers and they would be having a pre-prescribed shape which can be due to the different roll passes. Roll passes give them a particular shape and finally a pressed gear is made. So these kind of gear can be metallic as well as non-metallic form. So the next gear manufacturing process is extrusion. So what do you do in basic extrusion process? The material is forced out of a small die opening. Like in case of forward extrusion, the material has to be forced out of an opening which is called your die which is in the shape of a gear because you're manufacturing a gear. So you will get a rod shaped object which is in the form of the gear to be produced. It can either be spur, helical or any other kind of gear. And then finally after the finishing process, after the cold working process and after the exact extrusion to be done, the material can be slitted in the width which is required. So this is the basic extrusion process. Also the extrusion can be backward extrusion in which the material and your ram goes in different direction. But the process is same. The object is made in the form of rod and you need to slit it in the form of gear of a particular width. The next process is powder metallurgy. So what do you do in powder metallurgy? You take a prescribed shape which is again in the form of gear to be produced with prescribed dimensions. You fill the material inside that dimension in the form of small particles or small powder irrespective of the material. Material can be anything. Also suitable binders are used so that your powders can be binded together. So the process can be sintering, binding and every various powder metallurgy process but the same is used for producing a gear. So in this way these are the four processes in which gears are produced. I have also told that gears are also produced by even other methods like shaping, grinding as well as your other honing, lapping, different operations. But these are unlike them, these are used for making small scale gears and also in your watches, in your toys etc. So these gears can be produced by these following methods. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and do subscribe our channel Ikira.